It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we'll see who rules the skies in today's battle. It's the New York Jets and the Arizona Cardinals, and it's coming up next on Madden NFL 25. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the home of the Cardinals, State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson here in the booth. Carter, these are a couple of teams that struggled a year ago, finished out of the playoffs. They were under 500, but that's what you love about the NFL. A new season brings renewed optimism. Absolutely, and really, Mike, a lot of new faces at critical places. I mean, there is a lot of new pieces to the puzzle here, both coaching staff and the roster of players. They believe last year is over. They do not think there is any correlation between the squad they're planning to put on the field today and that one that we saw really go through some growing pains and struggles just a year ago. Riley Patterson is the kicker, and he's got it on the tee. And off we go from Glendale. To return is Greg Dorch. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The Cardinals come out. They're led by their quarterback, Kyler Murray. First overall pick in 2019. Wows you with those highlight plays over the years. Off the injury, Greg, the Cardinals quarterback, is once again the exciting Kyler Murray. Quarterbacks like him are just so hard to defend, Mike, because not only can they beat you with their arm and their ability to process and spread the ball out to the other playmakers, but it's their ability to hurt you when things break down. It's just hard to defend plan B, plan C. You might defend plan A really well, but man, I'll tell you, you just can't simulate his speed in practice. You can't simulate his ability to make guys miss and extend plays. And when that coverage breaks down, or that defensive front doesn't get home, he can make you pay in a lot of different ways. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Now Murray. A short one here, caught by McBride. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. We'll come to the line now on second and two. They go play action now. Murray. The pass rush gets home and he goes down. In the midst of a tight game like that, you're looking for every play that you can make to try to gain advantage. And if you can continue to get after the quarterback, disrupt the rhythm and timing of this quarterback in the second half, that could be the difference of you being able to pull away. They need eight as they come up for third down. Play action now. It's Murray. He's got his man. It's Harrison. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone inside the 20-yard line. Well, they've come out swinging here on this opening drive through the air, and that's exactly what they wanted to do. Generate some early chunk plays and try to get some points. They're at the 17-yard line now for first and 10. First carry for James Conner. It'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Back to the drawing board for this run game, Mike. The offensive coordinator and his staff, they have to do a better job giving plays, giving opportunities to their offense to find success on the ground. Because right now, they have no answers for this defense. On second down, Murray. He'll get it into the hands of Zay Jones. It may not have moved the chains, but with what they were dealing with there on second down, that's a really nice pickup because now it opens up your play call sheet on third down where it's a little bit more manageable. Seventh play of this opening drive, and here's third down. From the shotgun, it's Murray. 
Oh, got him again the second time with a sack on this opening drive. His defensive line clearly has a beat on this offense. They've got to find a way to settle their pass protections if they want to be able to get their quarterback in any sort of established rhythm and timing going forward. They're going to have to do a lot better job protecting them early in this game. That's already two sacks allowed. Chad Ryland on now for the field goal. This from extra point range, a 33-yard field goal attempt. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Cardinals will take a 3-0 lead. You know, they did a lot of good things on this opening drive, Mike. I know they stalled out once they got down there into the red zone. They're going to need to work on finishing some of these drives as this game moves along. But that's a good three points to start this game. Three points on that opening drive. We'll see the response as the kick's away. To return, it's Isaiah Davis. And they'll be set up well as he is past the 35-yard line. Well, the Jets come out with Aaron Rodgers. Of course, all the buildup in 2023, it lasted all of four snaps. But the man is a legend. A Super Bowl champ, 10-time Pro Bowler, Greg, his 20th NFL season. There's not many guys, Mike, in NFL history that while their career is still ongoing, they already are considered a no-brainer finding themselves in Canton one day. And this guy is certainly at the top of the list. And let's not forget, this is not some washed-up quarterback who can't let go of the past. He is still capable of playing at an all-pro level. And if he continues to do so, any team he's on is going to be a Super Bowl contender. And a nice run there on first down, getting eight. Setting up second and two. Off the play fake, Rodgers. And he's going to run out of time. They get to him and bring him down. Looked like a pass protection breakdown. They had five offensive linemen and a running back in the backfield. I promise you, somebody was assigned to that linebacker, but he timed the blitz perfectly. He ran through and was able to bring him down for a big sack. We're going to try to pick this up on third and eight. From the shotgun, it's a -Rob. That's to the running back, Brees Hall. And he looks to be a bit short of the line. And that is going to bring up fourth down. The initial reaction is, how does this quarterback not throw the ball past the first down line to gain to try to extend this drive? And the reality is, because they've already decided they're going to go for it on fourth down. On fourth down, the Jets turn it to the veteran Thomas Morstead to punt. Greg Dortch deep to return. And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. So here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. They'll start this drive on the ground, and it's Connor. And he's going to be taken down on the other side of the 50-yard line. Well, that's how you get a drive started. A big play here in the run game. And you have to imagine this is something we're going to continue to see. Success early in the drive typically results in success later in the drive. Set to go now on first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Murray. Off he goes. Taking advantage of the room to run, a gain of 19 on the scramble. 
A quarterback who can extend the play with his legs, Mike, is just such a key element to today's modern offenses. You can see there was nowhere for him to go with the ball, but he decides to turn into a runner, picks up a great gain, and ultimately a first down. On the give, this is Connor. That one never got started. Too much defensive pressure. They drop him in the backfield. Some defensive ends specialize in getting after the quarterback. Some defensive ends specialize in run game. This guy can really make an impact on both, as we saw here for that tackle for loss. Second down, Murray. Third and long. Working from the shotgun, it's Murray. He's got his tight end, that's McBride. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. When you're running a crossing route versus man coverage, you understand that there's going to be nobody waiting for you on the far side of the field. So if you can create separation on your man defender and separate away, there's a lot of green grass, and that's where the quarterback went with the ball. They can still get a first down at the one. First and ten, they go from the 11. From the gun, it's Murray. Now he takes off. On the handoff, it's Connor. And he's close to the first down. Gets four yards on the game, but it will bring up third down. Connor going to try to pull his way in. And that big offensive line. Clearing space. He's in. James Conner. Touchdown, Arizona. Now, remember back, Mike, their first drive, they had to settle for three. So they definitely didn't want to have to do that again. So really solid drive from start to end. And they're finally able to cap it off with a touchdown. Chad Ryland now for the extra point. It's up and through. And the Cardinals are out to a 10-0 lead. Here's Ryland now. After the TD, he'll send this one away. Davis now to return it. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. So they come to the line for first down and 10. The drive begins with a run, and it's Hall. And a nice run. Get him about nine. It'll bring up second down. Play action now with Rodgers. 
and that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. I know it fell for an incompletion, but pretty impressive. He was able to push that ball really far downfield as he was being hit. Really says a lot about the arm strength that this quarterback has. On third and one, here's Rodgers. And he's going to pick up the first down. He knew where that marker was and made sure he got beyond it. Really just comes down to everybody understanding the situation. You realize, how many yards do I need to get for the first down? And just make sure at least one of my receivers is past the sticks. That's where he went with the ball, and they're able to convert. Play fake. It's Rodgers. Open man. Downfield. It is Adams. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. He'll run. This is Hall. Not much there. Maybe a yard. Here's second and nine. Another run here with Hall. Here's third down and a few inches. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there, making things difficult defensively. It'll set up a fourth down. And on that third down, they thought an easy way to pick it up and get some positive yards would go to their quick game, but... It didn't seem like the receiver and the quarterback were on the same page, and now brings up fourth down. They're going to go, and it's Hall. And he's going to have the Jets' first down as they find a way to keep the chains moving on fourth down. This play should always end up converting a fourth down, especially at this distance. But you can't tell me there weren't some nerves on that sideline as they sent that play in to snap it. But fortunately, nothing to worry about. The offense gets it done. Now it's Oz to the left. Here comes Hall. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. They face second down and seven. Give up the middle with Hall. And he will not be able to get free. Picking up only a yard. Now, it's third down. From the gun, Rodgers. That one to Corley. He's got it. And the Jets are going to have first and goal as the tackles made it about the five-yard line. To be a prolific passing offense in this league, you have to be able to both throw the ball from the pocket and you have to be able to operate and convert on third downs. And they've really done both at a high level on this drive. And to no surprise, they find themselves first and goal. They'll run. It's Hall. He'll be wrapped up there, down at the three-yard line. And a little closer. Here's second and goal. 
They'll try to run this one in. And he won't quite get in. Down to the one, setting up third and goal. Rodgers now. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. They went for it all on that one and just a little bit off. Ball winds up hitting the ground. They've got to move forward. The opportunities are out there. Better execution, better location, and they got some big plays in their future. Fourth down. Rodgers. That's going to be caught. And he's in. Reese Hall. Touchdown, Jets. But you think back to their first possession of this game, Mike, it resulted in a punt. Not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds. They get the ball back for possession, too. Now they try to find some rhythm, find their identity of the game plan, and they come away with six. So, that's how you bounce back in this league. It's not always going to be perfect. Really nice job settling into this game here with their second possession. Extra point by Patterson is good. And the Jets are on the board. It's 10-7. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away here comes dj dallas on the return he'll get this up to the 28 yard line nice place for the drive to start following the kickoff we have an injured player on the field so as they look at the injured player we'll take a timeout They'll start this one with a three tight end look. On first down, the drive begins with Connor. And good blocking up front, paving the way for a gain of eight on the ground. Murray now on second a hit and he has lost the football but this is taken in by a teammate sometimes these games in the NFL Mike they get decided by simply how the ball bounces I mean how often do we see a quarterback in the pocket get strip sack and that ball ends up going the other direction fortunately for them they can regroup get back in the huddle and live another day ball falls into the hands of his own guy and they'll see if they can dodge this bullet Taking off, he'll try to get there. That's a great job defensively. Even though they let him escape the rush initially, there was nowhere to go with either their ball or as a runner, and they're able to force fourth down. So on fourth down, it's Blake Gillikin to punt for Arizona. Xavier Gibson to return for the Jets. Now, fair catch called, and he's going to take it out beyond the 25-yard line. They'll come up here first and 10. To throw, it's Rodgers. Quick slant into the hands of Wilson.
They'll come up here on second down and five. On the handoff, here comes Hall. And he'll power it. Push the pile forward. It's a gain of two. A touchdown apiece here in the first quarter of play. 10-7 is the score. Greg and I back here in Glendale after this. They'll come up to third and three. To throw is Rodgers. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag comes in. That might make this a first down. Throwing Rodgers to the left side, and Adams has it. And he'll be hauled down at about the 35-yard line. These curl routes. He's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football, and I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield, and you stick that foot in the ground, work back to the quarterback, friendly to the ball, and really nice job picking up the first down. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Here's Rodgers. That's a short one taken in by Conklin. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. This pitch and catch may have looked routine, but I promise you, Mike, these types of anticipatory throws, especially outside the numbers, they don't occur without countless reps, oftentimes when nobody's even watching. To the air once more, it's Rodgers. He's got it inside the five. And the Jets are going to have a first and goal. Very nearly a touchdown. He's going to be marked out of bounds just shy of the pylon. It's been a really good drive so far. But what I really like, Mike, is they're down here in the red zone and they continue to attack. Now, not quite a touchdown, but with first and goal, this defense certainly has their back against the ropes. From the one-yard line, first down and goal. He'll try to run it with Hall. What a move. He's in. Reese Hall. Touchdown, New York. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. Patterson now to add the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Jets are on top. It's 14 to 10. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. P.J. Dallas now to return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line.
First and ten. Working out of the gun, Murray. He'll look middle and finds McBride his tight end. And they'll bring him down, but not until he gets to the 38-yard line. First down throw for Murray. Quick throw, taken in. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. Here's a second and six. From the shotgun, it's Murray. He'll get that complete to Harrison. And it'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. They'll try and run for this with Connor. And he's going to have a Cardinals first down. They're able to convert, albeit not by much, but they get it on third and a yard. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring them for a huge gain. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. That's caught downfield by Harrison. And he will go all the way. Marvin Harrison, Jr. Touchdown, Cardinals. Extra point now by Ryland. The kick is good. And the Cardinals move out to a three-point edge, 17 to 14. Here's Ryland now. After the TD, he'll send this one away. Davis now to return it. Oh, oh. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. From the shotgun, it's A-Rod. Going up top. And he's going to be dragged down, but not until he's inside the 25. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. The training staff going to look, and we'll step out for a moment. Unbalanced look here to the right side on first and ten. Out quickly, and it's Adams. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five.
Now Rodgers. That's caught over the middle. It's Wilson. And this drive's going to continue. They bring him down, but not before he picks up first and goal for his team. Rodgers going up top again. This one caught at the four. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. On the give, it's Paul. Let's give him a yard down to the three-yard line. Third and short yardage, it's Rodgers. Ah, good blocking, and he's in. Aaron Rodgers. Touchdown, New York. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. On comes Patterson for the PAT. The kick is good. And the Jets move out in front by four. It's 21 to 17. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. On the return, it's Dallas. Across the 20, they'll mark him down before the 25-yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. Here's Marvin Harrison Jr. and the Cardinal offense heading back out onto the field. And seemingly every time they've looked his way in the first half, it's resulted in a big play. That is borne out by those eye-popping numbers. Here's first and ten. It's a zone read, and Murray hanging on to it. And he'll get about three on that one. It'll be second down. They went to the design quarterback run, and there just wasn't a lot of space for the quarterback to operate. You can see him kind of waiting for some of the blocks to develop. Never transpired. Didn't get a whole lot going. Short game. Second and seven. Now Murray keeping it himself. And will mark him down just shy of the 40. So, Mike, at the core of a successful zone replay is that the quarterback understands which defender is he responsible for. That is the defender they're trying to put in a bind. In this case, he chooses the runner, the quarterback pulls the ball, and he's able to take off for a big game. Murray with a gift to Connor. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. Heck of an effort by this runner, Mike, just to get back to the line of scrimmage. I think most backs around the league, that play would have resulted in a loss, but not this guy. Continued to fight, continued to do everything he could to prevent the loss, but it still stopped for no gain. Now Murray to throw on second down. And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down.
On the ground, it's Connor. Here's Blake Gilligan now. He'll punt for the second time, looking to pin the opponent back deep. Good hang time. The fair catch will be made back at their own 12. To start this drive on the ground it's Hall and he'll take this forward for about three it's second down working out of the gun it's Rogers He'll complete it to Adams. You can see the eyes of the quarterback. He's trying to push this ball initially downfield, but with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage, he's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route. But this is something that they know in the future. If I need a couple yards, they can come back to this play. He'll try to run for it with Hall. And this will gain a couple of yards up to the 22-yard line. On comes Thomas Morstead. He'll be looking for something a little better than that first effort, which he shanked. On the return, it's Torch. And he'll be brought down. Short return. And they'll take over there. Three tight ends in the game to start the drive. He'll start this drive on the ground, and it's Connor. And he'll twist his way to a good run. A pickup of seven yards. Here's a second and three forthcoming. They'll go right back to Connor. And he'll get this down to the 40. That's a nice run. And it's also a first down. Out of the pistol, it's Murray. That's to the right side. Cut by McBride. And they're going to get this ball down to the 20 yard line. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. On the handoff, it's Connor. And he'll get about six there, setting up second down. They'll go again here to Connor. He is met and dropped. Good defense. Loss of a couple on that play.
third and six. Working from the shotgun, it's Murray. Uh, nowhere to go. He's going to be taken down. That's Hassan Reddick getting in there to bring him down. This is the epitome of team defense. Not only are you able to rush the passer and put relentless pressure on him play after play, but the coverage on the back end is so tight. There's just nowhere for the quarterback to go with the ball. You see him just continue to hold the ball, that extra second in the pocket, and with the way these guys are pass rushing, that's all the time they need. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Cardinals cut the deficit down to one. So Ryland now, following the made field goal, back out to kick this one away. Davis now to return it. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. begins with a run and it's all and this will be a short pickup to about the 30 it's Sean Murphy bunting on the tackle here's second and six he'll go again with Hall and he is not going to get away might have gotten a yard, but it will set up third down. Looking to throw. It's trying to set up the screen, and it's intercepted. It's the linebacker, Shaven Collins. I think a lot of people, Mike, when they see a screenplay develop, they just take the completion for granted. And, and typically it is, but then you get a defender, somebody like this, who just anticipates it. They see it from the start, and they're able to perfectly time their jump, step in front of the throw, and come away with the interception. A short one here, caught by McBride. And he can't get away. They rally to the football on defense and bring him down for no gain. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Out of gun, it's Murray. That'll be taken in by Connor. And he's going to be taken down as we hit the two-minute warning here in this first half. Third down, three to go. From the gun, it's Murray. To the end zone, it's intercepted. Picked off by D.J. Reed. So much of that play comes down to the defender's positioning. Being able to get himself to a spot to get his hands on the ball and a chance at that pick. Mike, when that ball was thrown, me and you are sitting here saying, that's a touchdown, and instead, they force a turnover, and now their offense is back on the field.
The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. From the gun, Rodgers. And he's not going to get away. They track him down. Just a great individual effort. And when you have a guy that can win his one-on-one -on -one matchups, now it becomes less about who's blocking them and how do we block them. Expect the offense to make some adjustments because right now, one-on-one, -on -one, this defender is going to win every time. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Rodgers now. A pass caught right side by Conklin. Well, they'll get some of the sack yardage back, but it's still going to leave them with third down. Here's Rodgers. He gets this complete, finding Adams. Now the Jets going to use the first of their timeouts, and they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go until halftime. Ball out to the 35-yard line as they come up for first and 10. To throw, it's Rodgers. Right back to Adams. He's got it again. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. You find yourself in these two-minute drills, Mike. They're pretty critical moments in the game. They go a long way to deciding the outcome. So it makes a lot of sense. You start looking for your top target, and he comes through for him there. They'll throw again. Here's Rodgers. He's going to look deep for Adams. And they're going to take this into the red zone to the 15-yard line. Set to go now on first and ten. Again, it's Rodgers. And he can hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Sometimes it's those footsteps. I don't care how long you've been playing or at what level you've been playing at. And that defender's bearing down. You really get a good idea what guys are willing to go through contact to secure a catch, and in this case, what guys are unwilling. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. And with just four seconds left in the first half, a timeout is called. Out comes Riley Patterson to try the field goal. This, about as short as you can get. Patterson's kick is good. And the Jets going to tack on three more, extending the lead here late in the first half. So, two seconds left to play, and the kick's away. 
And this one is fielded in the end zone. Will not be returned. So it'll come out to the 30. On first and 10, it's Murray. He'll take a shot, looking for Wilson. That's going to be incomplete. They took a shot on the final play. Prayer not answered. And that is how this first half will come to an end. Okay, Michael, thanks very much. And with that, we welcome you all into our EA Sports studios. This is the Halftime Report. We were treated to a solid first half out of the running back, Brees Hall. He found the end zone twice, once on the ground and once in the passing game, as he proved he's anything but a one-dimensional running back. Both of these offenses had their share of high points in that first half. Each team had some big moments, and it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins. Coach, thank you. Not a rest at the break for the defensive coordinators, trying to figure out how to stop these offenses as we get ready for the second half. First half played out a bit as we expected. We'll see if there's a surprise coming up. Both teams set to go, and the second half is underway. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. So now Rodgers and the Jets ready to take over once more. So they come to the line for first down and 10. To throw is Rodgers. Quickly to the outside and complete. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. When you put plays like this on tape, it sends a message to every defender across the league. When you play this offense and this guy has the ball, you better bring it when you come to contact him, because if not, you're going to be on the wrong end of it. He'll run it out of the gun, and it's Hall. And he's able to find a crease, get ahead for seven, and he'll bring up third down. Rodgers. And that is incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver. And it's going to lead to fourth down. And barring an aggressive decision here on fourth down, it just seemed like a really wasted possession to go three and out, not able to pick up a single first down. Not only do you not able to gain any field position advantage, it really takes a lot of the wind out of your sails as you find yourself jogging off the field and the punt team coming on. So first and 10 now, they'll start from the 22. Working out of the gun, Murray. He'll get this one to his safety valve, complete. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. From the shotgun, it's Murray. That's to the sideline and pulled in by Harrison. Yeah, really nice play there by Marvin Harrison Jr. And this is really the target they've been looking for to pair up with Kyler Murray here in Arizona for a long time. And for this draft to fall their way and then get really one of the best receivers to come out in the last couple years, Mike. I mean, with all the Ohio State wide receivers that have come out here lately, you can make an argument Harrison 
He's probably the best of the bunch. And he'll be tackled up around the 45-yard line. Man, when it works well, the zone read is a thing of beauty. It just adds another dimension to this offense. And if the defense doesn't get a better plan, they're going to continue to do it all day. A couple of first downs has them out to the 45-yard line as it's first and 10. Running here is Connor. Nice job finding the seam. Gain of about nine. Just a yard short of that first down. Second and a yard. On the give. This is Connor. And that will give him a first down. Tackle made after the pickup of three. Now, Murray. That one pinballs around, but it is incomplete. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? The defense all over this one. They get him behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a couple. These are the impact plays that this linebacker is capable of, Mike. Not only dissecting and determining where the ball was going, but then to shoot through the line of scrimmage and make this tackle for a loss. That's a big-time play by a really good player. On third down, Murray. We'll try to work the screen with Connor. Trying to find some seam out there, but he will not. They get him behind the line, and fourth down is coming up. Well, when you call a screen play, of course, you're looking to catch the defense off guard and pick up a chunk play. You're not thinking you're actually going to find yourself going backwards, but that's exactly the case here, and really nice job by the defense sniffing that one out. The Cardinals line up for a punt. And this one's going to land out of bounds as they'll mark it inside the 20. The Jets offense and Devontae Adams heading back onto the field. And he was unguardable in the first half. You see the numbers as they try to add to those here in the third quarter. They'll come up here first and 10. Again, here's Hall. He's got room at the 30. And they will finally get him down, but not before he's able to take this up near the 40-yard line. It's definitely nice to have one of those bruising, punishing backs to kind of help wear down the defense. But I'll tell you what, you can give me a flat-out electric runner like this guy any day of the week. He can turn on those jets, get in that high gear, and he is gone. He'll find Hall out of the backfield. They'll try again here. Second and ten. From the shotgun, it's a rock to the left side, and Adams has it. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Anytime you're facing a zone defense, you're working from your first progression all the way through. But when guys are open in this level, Mike, they don't stay open very long. So what they taught us as receivers, if you're open, stay open. And if you're not open, you better get open quick because that ball is coming out. First and 10 now from the 36. Here's Hall. Good running inside the 25. 
What a run. He brings it to the red zone, taken down inside the 20-yard line. What a good run there. That's going to put him over 100 for today's game, Mike. And it just seems as the game goes on, this guy just seems to get better and better. Ball down to the 16-yard line. And it's first and 10. Checking it down. This one is caught. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. A good spot here, second and a yard. Give up the middle with Hall. And the Jets are going to be set up with a first and goal. Good running. Gets him down to about the four-yard line. Throwing, Rodgers. Adds to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. Buda Baker with the coverage defensively, able to break that one up. Well, if you're going to target him in the end zone, you better come correct, man, because this guy, he embraces those moments of one-on-one -on -one coverage when it matters the most, and I think he just saved six by getting his hands on that one. On the handoff, here comes Hall. And he's going the wrong way, dropped back at the seven. It makes sense on second and goal, Mike, to keep this ball on the ground. You always have third down again to finally punch it in. But now after the defense forces you backwards, I think you have to consider putting this one in the air here on third and goal. Third and goal for Aaron Rodgers. Taking off, and he will get into the end zone. Aaron Rodgers. Touchdown, Jets. Patterson now to add the extra point. He's got it. And the Jets will extend this third quarter lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. On the return, it's Dallas. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Out comes the Arizona offense. They get ready for their next possession. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards, any completions. This has just been a dominant pass defense performance here, and everything starts with the rush. The quarterback's uncomfortable. The clock gets sped up. He's got guys in his face. It's a lot easier to play defensive back and in some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come out fast. And right now, they're teeing off and taking advantage of it. They go play action with Murray. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. The drag route is such a good way to get the ball early into the hands of your tight end and take some pressure off the quarterback and give him an easy completion. The size and the athleticism allows them to try to pick up more yards but do it after the catch. Toss play. It's Connor. And he'll get maybe a yard. That's it. C.J. Mosley, the veteran linebacker, there to shut it down. Third 
third and a yard. It's a zone read, and Murray hanging on to it. And the drive is still up. He's got the first down, up to the 44. The advantage to this play call, Mike, is as an offense, you now can account for one extra defensive player. In this case, it's the quarterback reading the end. He goes after the running back. He pulls it, keeps it himself, picks up the first down. They'll run it on first down with Connor. I uh, fumbled the football. The Jets have got it. And as you can see with that fumble, Mike, it really just goes back to the fundamentals of how they're taught to carry the ball. And they talk about the points of pressure. And the biggest thing really, Mike, is you want the front tip of the ball, the part where your fingers cover, to always be higher than the back tip of the ball. So often you see that front tip go down, and it makes it so much easier for that defender to kind of rake it out. So you want pressure against the outside of the ball, both tips, the inside of the ball, and then keep that front point up. And remember now, all turnovers must be reviewed by replay. So this one is going to need a little closer look. At issue was the knee or any other body part except the hand down before the ball comes loose. And are the visuals convincing enough to overturn the call on the field? So that one overturned. They say the runner was down, and that will not be a fumble. First and ten. On the zone read, given to Connor. There he goes, inside the 30. And he's out of bounds all the way inside the 15-yard line. A big play and a much needed one as well. And even 30 yards. I've always gone with the logic on the zone read, Mike, defensively, that you want to tackle the back. Make the quarterback keep it, because in this case, as you see, he gives the ball to his back with a hole. He can take it a long way. The speed and the get off by the big interior defensive tackle, Mike. I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the handoff himself. Last play went the wrong way. It sets up second and long. It's second down and 12. That one underneath here to Connor. He'll get about six before he's taken down. Well, this is a great example of the old saying, Mike. You never go broke taking a profit. And give credit to this quarterback. I know it's not the big explosive play he was looking for, but getting the ball into the hands of his running back Allow him to pick up some extra yardage after the catch. Out of the gun, it's Murray. And he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. If they win this game, this pass rush is going to be a big reason why. The five sacks speak for itself, but their ability to disrupt the timing of this offense, that can't be overstated. Chad Ryland on now for the field goal. This, about as short as you can get. Three for three in the game, as this one is also good. And the Cardinals are able to get it back within a score. So Ryland now, following the made field goal, back out to kick this one away. Set to return is Xavier Gibson. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. Brees Hall making his way back out there as the Jets are on offense again. And as you take a look at the numbers, you have to imagine he was the top conversation in that locker room at halftime. they got to find a way to slow him down. 
Nothing they've done has worked so far. Here's first and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. Here's a second and six. Now Rodgers. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. Really nice job here by the quarterback, understanding what did he need to pick up a fresh set of downs. In this case, that underneath drag route was all it took. Get the ball into the hands of your receiver, pick up a first down. Unbalanced look here to the right side on first and ten. Looking to throw, it's Rodgers. Short pass taken in by the tight end. Just take what the defense is giving you. When you can stay ahead of the chains and just take these easy pitch and catch throws underneath, hitch routes, quick game, now it puts you in a lot more favorable down and distances to eventually attack this defense a little bit more downfield. To the air once more, it's Rodgers. A quick slant, and here's Adams. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. On the give, it's Hall. And he's going to be stopped in his tracks. He'll lose a couple of yards on that one. Well, the defense gets a rare win. We've seen this ball carrier have his way on the ground pretty much all day today, Mike, and give credit to the defense. They were able to get back in the backfield with some penetration and bring him down for a loss. From the gun, Rodgers. And he'll be very close to a first down. Won't quite have enough, but now a much more advantageous spot. This is a great example here of just not getting too complicated as an offensive coordinator. Who's one of your best players on the field, and how do you get the ball in his hands? They'll empty out the backfield as they come up for third and a yard. Rodgers. That one's a Corley. He's got it. A gain there of 11. Good for a Jets first down. Just a great example of not only the anticipation, but the instincts to go break that pass up, Mike. You can see he's clearly looking at the quarterback's eyes. And once that ball was delivered, he's just attacking it and breaking it up. Rodgers going up top again. He's got it at the seven. He is in. Devontae Adams. Touchdown, New York. On comes Patterson for the PAT. He's got it. And the Jets are going to extend their lead.
the kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. Dortch now to return it. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Working from the shotgun, it's Murray. That ball caught, it's Zay Jones. He's taken down, but just shy of midfield. They go three tight ends here on first and 10. On the ground, it's Connor. And he finds some space, tackled after a gain of seven on first down. Second down and three. This is a give to Connor, running right. So, three quarters have come and gone. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. Here's third and two. They'll run here. Ah, strong running there. He brings this down inside the 25. If you have a shot to bring him down early, you just can't miss, Mike. Not against a runner like this. If he slips that first tackle, you can see how much more he can add to a run. Now Murray on first down. He'll get that complete to Harrison. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. Here's second and six. Working out of the gun, Murray. Quick throw, out wide, it's caught. And this drive's going to continue. He's taken down, but they are set up with first and goal. They'll stick to the ground. That's a nice pickup, bringing it down to the three. Try to pull his way in. This defense back up, but stepping up. No gain on the play. It stays at the three. So on second down, they try to hammer it in on the ground, Mike. But now on third and goal, I don't think you have any choice but to put this ball in your quarterback's hands and test this defense through the air. Murray on third down. That is caught in the middle of the end zone. Marvin Harrison Jr. Touchdown, Arizona. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon.
And now it's a nine-point game, so they'll go for just one here. The kick here is good, so they are back within a possession. That gets it down to an eight-point game. So, things a little more interesting now. Back to a one-score game as they kick it away. Gibson now on the return. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The Jets offense and Aaron Rodgers getting ready to go once more. And as we take you through some of the highlights so far, you're going to see a lot of passing yards. He has carved up this defense over 300 yards passing in the game and has been sharp right from the start. The break the huddle coming up now for first and 10. Here's Rodgers. That's a short one taken in by Conklin. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. They will run it over center with Hall. He did a good job of making one man miss, but could not get away from this defense in the end. It turns into a loss of yardage. Well, that second down play call is not real fancy, but at this point, Mike, they are in a battle with the clock. How much time can they run off and try to protect this lead? But now it brings up a pretty interesting third down. Can they keep the ball and finish this thing on offense, or are they going to have to punt it away and have their defense finish the game? That's taken in by Conklin, the tight end. At this point in the game, Mike, it really starts coming down to the number of possessions. So that's a huge first down conversion. Fresh set of downs. Now, the balance is stay aggressive and maintain the ball, but also start working this clock. A-Rod now to throw on first down. The ball deflected at least a couple of times, but it'll fall to the ground. It's incomplete. He was looking for Garrett Wilson there, and it'll lead to a second down. Shotgun snap, and a give to Hall. He'll manage only about three, so it will bring up third down. Rodgers to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there. Making things difficult defensively, it'll set up a fourth down. When you get the ball in this situation, what you're looking to do is not only end the drive with a touchdown to put the game away, but you'd love to chew up some clock. So with that incomplete pass now likely putting an end to this series, that's a big opportunity for them to try to close this game out. And not much doing there. They made sure he would not get free. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll be taken down just shy of the 30. Nice combination of vision 
patience and speed by the running back here. The vision to see the hole, the patience to let the blocks unfold, and then the speed to hit it and pick up a nice gain. They'll run. A gain of four as he's taken down. Murray now on second down. Quick throw taken in. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. Zone route running, Mike, is very simple. Once you come off the line of scrimmage after the ball is snapped and you know it's zone coverage, as long as it's sort of in the area the quarterback expects you to be, my rule was just run where they're not. And when he throws it, catch it. Now Connor. And he'll get this across midfield as he's brought down following a pickup of five. Now a second down throw for Murray. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. But he can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. James Conner, the intended target. And now it's going to be third down. Murray now. He'll try to work the screen with Conner. And he's going to get awfully close to the first down marker, but appears just to be a few inches short. As a play caller, those are the plays that just drive you crazy, Mike. You think you're going to pick up the first down, you get tackled just shy of the sticks, and now a little bit of a gamble here on fourth down. They'll run it and give it to the big guy. And he's going to have the Cardinals first down. They managed to convert. That'll keep the drive alive. From the gun, it's Murray. That's to the left side, taken in by Harrison. 11 yards on the connection there. It's an Arizona first down. On the give. This is Connor. He'll be stopped just a short game. Down to the third. Second down and eight. Out of the gun, it's Murray. That'll be taken in by Connor. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. If you want to play running back in today's modern NFL, Mike, you have to be able to be a viable weapon in the passing game. It's all about touches. It's not just about handoffs anymore. It's how many different ways can we get the ball in your hands. Now the second back taken in the April draft, it's Trey Benson. What more could you ask for on first down? Nice run of eight, setting up second and short. left side and that's the tight end McBride and he'll be taken down after a game three but that is good enough for a first down 
I just love the feel this tight end has, Mike, for the defense when they play zone coverage. Certain guys, they want to run routes like their lines on a piece of paper, and they end up going from uncovered space to covered space, but not the case here. He knew he was open. He knew he was in the right spot. He stayed open. The quarterback delivered a good ball. Second down, Murray. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. Marvin Harrison Jr., the intended target. Third down coming up. One of those plays where you like the idea, you just don't like the execution. I didn't feel the quarterback was overly comfortable in the pocket. Footwork, a little bit sloppy. All of a sudden now the pass is a little less accurate and an opportunity for a big shot. You end up falling short. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. D.J. Reed that time. Good tight coverage, and he's able to get a hand on it. Well, that's two straight plays now where this secondary has won their matchup, and right now the offense needs to find some plays that just call for easy completions. Get your wide receivers in space. Allow them to run after the catch, because right now these downfield passes, the defense is all over them. So Ryland now, following the made field goal, back out to kick this one away. Gibson now on the return. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. The Jets' offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense, keeping the mistakes to a minimum on point with his passes, generally one step ahead of the defense all game long. Set to go now on first and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. Over the middle, that's the tight end, Conklin. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll come up now for second down and four. A give. Here's Hall. Maybe a couple there. It's third down. Trying to run for it with Hall. And nothing on that one. Back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. The key to this play, Mike, was defensively their ability to stretch this ball and make him go laterally. Anytime you can force the ball carry to go sideways on third and short, it gives your defenders time to rally, make the tackle for no gain, brings up fourth down. On comes the punt team now for the Jets. As he's on for the fifth time this afternoon. That is fielded at the 20. Ah, that could have broken for a bigger return, but as it is, nice job getting his offense a start out past the 30-yard line. this drive on the ground and it's Connor and they bring him down but not until he gets the 45 yard line 
Well, there's not a whole lot of fancy going on here, Mike. This is just kind of old school, line up and run smash mouth football. It's exactly what they did, but it still ends up in a big game, and he picks up the first down. On first down, they'll stay on the ground with Connor. A modest gain, maybe two yards. It's second down. They'll go right back to Connor. And he's bottled up after a gain of a yard. Big play coming up. This is third down. From the shotgun, it's Murray. That one underneath here to Connor. And he's very close to a first down, but it doesn't look like he got there. And yes, they're going to mark him a yard short. We see teams more and more throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, really for two reasons. One, they're confident that they can pick up the first down with yards after the catch. Two, teams' willingness to go for it on fourth down is at an all-time high. Oh, the blitz gets there. He is sacked. And they will turn it over on downs. You got to give credit to the defensive coordinator here. He went into attack mode, had a great blitz planned for this fourth down situation, disrupted the timing of the offense, and the quarterback had nowhere to go. He flushes out of the pocket to keep the play alive, and they're able to chase him down, force the sack, force the turnover on downs. So they come to the line for first down and 10. On play action, Rodgers. Got a man downfield. It's Devontae. And he's into the end zone. That might be the knockout punch. Devontae Adams. Touchdown, New York. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. You know, there's so many key factors that allow a play like this, Mike, to have so much success. And, of course, like anything, it starts with the quarterback being accurate. It's such a big part of NFL football right now is the run after the catch. But the accuracy of the ball allows the receiver to turn into a runner after securing the catch. So great job there by the quarterback. And then sometimes it's just a foot race to the pylon and speed kills. And wide receiver gets the ball, secures it, and he does the rest. Extra point by Patterson is good. And the Jets will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Dortch now to return it. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. This is first and ten. Throwing Murray. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. So, two minutes to play here in the second half. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. Here comes second down. They'll drop to throw. Into space at the 45. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. Oh, 
They've got all three timeouts left, but need to score quick. It's first and ten. There's that man again. Another catch. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Now a first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Throwing again is Murray. We'll go right back to Harrison. He's got him again. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Second and a yard. Murray's going to throw again. And this offensive line just has no answers right now. It's another sack. This has been a masterful game plan defensively. I mean, not only have they found their mismatches and been able to exploit them, it's led to seven sacks so far. I mean, even when the offense seems to make an adjustment, Mike, the defense just still seems to be one step ahead of them. That is incomplete. And here we go. They're down to what could be their final play. It's fourth down. They got there in a hurry, didn't they, Mike? I mean, luckily for him, he saw that free rusher coming and at the very least was able to get that ball out to prevent the sack. Now or never, they'll throw on fourth down. And that is incomplete. They had their chance. They took it there. Look, they're trailing late. Got to let it fly. This will wind up a turnover on downs. They'll come up here first and ten. Rodgers will take a knee, and that should do it. Now a timeout charge to Arizona. That is their second, as they get it right at the 30-second mark of this fourth quarter. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Rodgers will take a knee, and that should do it. Card's going to signal for their third and final timeout, and they'll stop it with 28 seconds to go in the game. The last two runs each lost a yard. Now they're looking at a third and 12. So this one, a win for the visiting Jets. In a game that was expected to be a cakewalk, pretty much turned out that way. Their class just much the best in this one as they cruise to an easy road victory. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Olson. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.